make sure to stay until the end. Most people will ignore one simple guy's symptom and we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a car. Any car guys, gasoline, diesel, electric, hybrid. If you want to know what are the symptoms of failing brakes, what to expect, what signs you can expect when the brakes are getting to the point you need to replace them, stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today. Never ignore them because that means that you may lose your brakes and your wife and uh, the wife of people around you may depend on your brakes. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos guys. We're constantly getting new cars here at the garage, working on that BMW now. We got a Dodge Challenger that will be working. We have more than 15 vehicles waiting to be shot guys. So videos are coming all the time. If you need help with anything, leave comment below uh, our videos and we'll try to make a video for your problem that way we can help you we can help other people with that problem and we can build a community where we help each other if you need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from guys and you can save a ton of money we have the brake pads here removed out of that BMW guys we want to explain how the system works and everything like that we'll have everything situated here like that we will leave it that way. I want to show you. We're going to come now to this side, guys. And everything's put together, right? Most people will actually, guys, look through the wheel and try to see the quality of their brake pads, how much wear you have on them. But you can also only see one of the brake pads in most cases and not clear. And the only way to inspect the thickness of your brake pads will be, guys, by removing the wheel and inspecting both brake pads. Because I want to show you guys, okay? Uh, now, let me show you here. These two, let's put them next to each other. One of them is thicker than the other one, okay? The inner one, in our case, is more worn, and that's the one that you often don't see. So what you can expect if you have bad uh, failing brakes, guys? Number one thing, if you start noticing, guys, noises from the brakes, that could be a sign that you need to replace your brakes. Why? Because uh, some cases, okay, on some cars, you have brake pads where you have a metal, piece of metal sticking out, and uh, when the brake pads reaches certain thickness and reaches that metal plate, that metal plate will contact the rotor and it will create that noise so you know you need new brake pads. More advanced vehicles like BMW guys, Mercedes sometimes, other ones use brake pad wear sensors. That sensor is installed on the brake pad. It goes right here in the canal when you install it guys. Uh, and uh, when it reaches the brake pad certain thickness that sensor will contact the brake rotor ours just did that you may hear a sound noise sometimes you may not but when it gets worn a little bit more it's going to activate and you'll get a light on the dash that will say replace brake pads or you have a red brake light on and that will tell you that there is something wrong with your brakes and you need to inspect what it is so noises coming out of them light sometimes not all the cars will have that by the way Something else guys, never ignore these uh, scenarios because uh, sometimes people will remove parts or they will replace parts, sometimes they will break that little bitty metal plate that I told you about or the sensor, they it will even will bypass it on other vehicles. So on every oil change I recommend remove the wheels, inspect your brake parts because I want to show you the thickness of the brakes new compared to old. This is it guys, that's okay, that's quite a bit of a difference, right? quite a bit of a difference so now talking about okay uh, the uh, the symptoms of bad brakes and how it can affect your car one will be hearing noises second if you start feeling reduced braking power that could be caused by glazed brake pads brake pads that are old exposed to heat they can become glazed like glass looking surface they become really shiny that means that your braking power will be reduced and when replacing the brake pads you either need to put new discs or you need to have the disc resurface guys they cut the top layer off of uh, the disc on each side and they make it nice and smooth and even again so you don't have grooves and it's not uh, an even roller that can cause more trouble so we have a new video that uh, uh, you, we have a really good video on the channel that explains do i need new disc rollers on my car so check it out it will guys teach you all about that so now 
what else it could be guys what are the symptoms of bad brakes sometimes let's say you start uh, going downhill or you're driving at higher speeds guys and you apply the brakes and you start having vibrations steering wheel vibrates uh, the brake paddle you might feel pulsating okay pulsation in the brake paddle that usually you will notice it going at high speed and you apply the brakes firmly or going downhill for a long time like a pass or something and you apply the brakes and they get hot that could be the sign of glazed brake pads glazed roller or having guys okay disc that is not straight it's not even as a result that disc will have low and high spots and when you stop guys what will happen actually the brake pad will follow that disc and if you have low and high spot that brake pad will start okay creating pulsation that pulsation will be practically transferred guys to the brake piston and the steering wheel uh, the rack and pinion which is right here connected to the wheel and you will feel the steering wheel vibrating and the brake paddle pulsating okay having pulsation because of that so uneven brake rollers will cause that what can cause brake uh, disc brake rollers not to be even uh, excessive wear heat uh, using the brakes a lot uh, going through if the brakes were hot and you hit a, 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 a puddle or something like that water uh, can make them uneven if they weren't resurfaced when you are, when you put new brake pads or replace that can cause it as well and something else that uh, most people not think about that but the brakes on your car will always rust you can see when you don't drive it they will rust if you let the car sit for a few months without driving it uh, humidity and moisture will corrode your roller that's fine sometimes even after rain next morning you see they're uh, rusted but they clean off immediately once you apply the brakes but if you let it sit for a long time humidity will build between the brake pad and the disc roller it will be trapped and it will keep eating that roller and when that happens you apply the brakes the rest will be clean off and you will end up having a low spot like this one here and that can cause uneven uh, tire uh, uh, uneven uh, braking as well and that causes pulsation and vibrations as well so never ignore sounds weak brakes okay vibrations pulsation another thing if you, your brake paddle is soft or if the brake paddle is hard we have a special video that explains why check it out it will be on the channel thank you for watching and see you guys next time